Good morning and welcome to the new chemist session of DNOX 13. We're very excited to have you at this early time. I uh, hope you find a nice and cozy place at your desks or at home or wherever you are and watching us around the globe. And we would like to give everyone who's new here or who has forgotten over the last 12 months how to attend DNOX a couple of introductions and bring you up to speed with what's happening in DNOX. So just to give you a brief introduction, Maybe, potentially, I can't click slides. No, no, it does. No, it is? Yeah, no, it is. Uh, we're getting there. Here we are. 9 a.m. in the morning, so we're going to work this out over the day. So my name is Patrick Busman. I'm the chairman of the board of Dino GV. Uh, I'm 37 years old and live close to Munich. Uh, in my day job, I'm a global product manager for the Edge platform at Akamai. With me, I have Moritz Frenzel, who's the board member of Dino GV, the head of our program committee, uh, 27 years old. You're actually 10 years younger. So and you're getting old. Uh, you can definitely see that at the hair. Um, <laughs> who's a senior network architect at Anexia in his day job. And I'm going to hand it over to Moritz for an introduction for a couple of things. Uh, as with every talk, if you want to have questions or ask us anything throughout the talk, you'll find that on the site and ask questions. If you can't find how, we're going to show you in a couple of minutes. Okay, thank you, Patrick. So, um, I want to talk a bit about the multiple personalities of DNOC because you might have already gotten confused and I want to clarify some things. So, DNOC itself uh, is an open and inclusive community of network professionals, meaning just a, a bunch of people enthusiastic around the internet, around networks, hanging around together. Many of us plan, build, run, or research networks, but others don't and are just interested, and that's perfectly fine, or do something completely different. In, in general, we're a forum where those working on, with, or uh, however involved in the internet can discuss their ideas, their perspectives, political topics, whatever they feel like, or political uh, topics regarding the internet in, in most cases. The main day-to-day -day business happens on hash DNOC on the IRC. I will show, uh, talk a bit about this later. And we also have a small group on Facebook and LinkedIn, uh, if, if that's more of your style. And yeah, we also have our ma mailing list. Uh, we'll also go into more detail here. It's at lists.dnoc.de, where you can ask questions to a quite broad audience, find contacts, and uh, anything else. So that's DNOC itself, nothing official. Now let's get official. We have the DNOC EV. It's a German nonprofit organization whose goal is to improve the quality and security of the internet at large, obviously with a focus on Germany. We aim to support research, science, and education by running this yearly conference, by hosting local meetups, by providing information on best practices and information. You can find those on our GitHub. And uh, we run a general forum to discuss current developments of the internet. We also support research with knowledge, contacts, and if necessary, with infrastructure. We currently are at around 229 members, at least last time I checked when I did the slides, and we offer uh, membership to individuals such as Patrick and myself or to legal bodies such as your companies if you want to support us. Um, it's also the legal body running the conference. Currently, virtually, it's not that uh, impressive that you could actually feel something tangible. But if you are at a location, you will see how much effort and financial risk this also involves. But also this virtual conference uh, is not as easy to run as it might seem. And we have a yearly membership fee of 30 euros. If you're interested in the association or in the organization, feel free to head over to dnoc.de and you can join uh, today if you want to. Then we have DNOC 13, the next personality, which is this year's conference. And it's the 13th edition, it was started in 2009. It features a selection of talks and workshops and is completely run by volunteers. No one here is getting paid. It, the costs are currently covered uh, by roughly 10% of voluntary entrance fees. This is obviously a bit higher during the uh, in-person event, as well as sponsorships, which is 90%. In normal events, we would have a 70-30 split or something like this. We have an official social tonight at 5 p.m. You will find it on the social tab on the left, but Patrick will go into detail more. And yeah, we also have the program committee, which I'm chairing, uh, which curates 
talks and workshops, workshops you've seen like yesterday. And uh, yeah, we, we highly discourage sponsored talks. So all talks here have gone through the program committee. None of them have paid us anything or are presenting because they are a sponsor of the event. And all talks and streams are recorded. Um, and I will show you later on where you can find those uh, of previous events. Then we have meetups or dinner meetups. Those are smaller versions of the conference in a local community in a city near you. They are mainly two to three talks, foods and drinks together, and are more focused on bringing the people and the community together. We all already had one in Berlin and then the uh, pandemic struck. So yeah, that thing was going on, but we, we went virtual as with everything. We had four online meetups so far, um, uh, one of which was a leadership meetup, not as much focused on the technical perspective, but rather on the people management side. All meetups have no entrance fee um, and the finger food and, spon and drinks are sponsored by a local host. If you are interested in running one of these, feel free to reach out to us at event at dinoc.de and we will do our very best to make this happen in, our, in your community. So if you are interested in previous events, you can find the slides of previous events uh, in our media repository. You can easily get check this out. And if you are interested in recordings, we have a YouTube channel as well as a presence on media.ccc.de where you can watch hours and hours of DNOC. Yeah, then the IRC. In the IRC, we have a daily chat with many members of our great community. And you can just hang around there, talk about stuff, and eventually someone comes, hey, is there a fiber cut in Frankfurt currently going on? And you will find an answer there if others are also affected and if this might be a bigger thing or if it is only affecting you. So if you want to join, uh, feel free to go to webchat.ircnet.net and just enter the channel hash dnoc um, or use your favorite IRC client. If you're interested in who those people are that are actually talking here, you can find a chatter list also on our website uh, as well as on the topic of the IRC channel and then you can see who the nickname to uh, maps to, or to which nickname the real name maps and where they are, uh, what organization they're associated with. Then there's our uh, main mailing list. It's, I would say, low traffic, but at times can get high traffic if the discussion uh, actually uh, offers that. It's mainly used for discussions, but also you can just subscribe to not miss any announcements of our events, our meetups, and so on. You will also find a call for papers there. For our members, we have a separate mailing list more uh, focused on the content of the organization, and you will already be subscribed if you are a member. Okay. One last thing, and this is targeted at well-being. We aim to make DNOC as welcoming and inclusive as possible. We're open for everyone, regardless of their gender, gender identity, expression, age, sexual orientation, disability, physical appearance, body size, race, race ethnicity, religion, or lack thereof, or technology and business choices. It's obviously okay to professionally disagree on technology cho choices or business choices, but never get personal. So please, be excellent to each other. We do not want to create more rules. Um, and if you are excellent to each other, we don't have to. So thank you in advance for being excellent to everyone else. Now my presenter died again. Well, I know the next slide anyways. Um, my next slide would be about uh, who you can contact in case you do not feel, um, in, in case you do not feel well during the event. You can reach out to us at vorstand.denok.de, which is the complete board, or you can reach out to any individual member by just using their first name at denok.de directly, should you ever feel threatened, unsafe, or in any other case have something you would want to talk about with someone privately, which requires our attention. Do not hesitate to reach out to us. And with that, I'll hand it over to Patrick. Well, let's see whether I'm trained at the highly skills of setting presentations forward. So obviously all of this wouldn't be possible um, without our sponsors. And we first of all like to thank our diamond sponsor of this year, IPHH. Um, but we also would like to thank our further sponsors, the Platinum sponsors, DKIX, Core Backbone and Flex Optics, as well as our support, uh, support sponsors. And obviously the streaming location place here Interlink in Berlin that are kind of nicely to have us and let us use their facilities for nearly full week. We want to see how you're attending Dinox 13. So we can't see you in person. I'm looking into a camera and a black wall. That's roughly everything I see. So share with us 
whatever you're doing, wherever you're sitting under the hashtag DNORX13 so that we have an impression and the rest of the community has an impression of how you're doing, how you're feeling, how you're watching DNORX today and throughout the next days. Let's deep dive a bit into Venulus so that you have an understanding of how to do this for the next two days. Uh, Venulus is created out of um, an open source project from the company that already runs pre uh, Pretix and Pretorx, uh, and they've been developing this for the last two years throughout the pandemic, and we're highly encouraging everyone to check it out and use it for their events. Uh, we're very happy with what we've got. Uh, if you want to have more information about that, obviously, chat to us. So what you can see on the left navigation side is the welcome page where you find the main page, all news, everything that changes throughout the day um, and the social media wall that gives you information on how everyone is doing. You can potentially, as we've established, here we go. Um, you can as well see on the left side the Shadal, which gives you a complete overview. And if you click on the individual talks, lightning talks, workshops from yesterday, you can find more information about the speakers. You can find more information about what they're talking, what the content is, and all of that. Um, in order to figure out, here we go. I need to do it left-handed, then we get there. Um, in order to see who is actually attending the conference, you know, we have a full attendee list of everyone attending. So you can see what is, uh, they are associated with, what their NIC handles are and all of that. You can find all information in the attendee list. You can search on top and see who is here, who of your favorite peers or who you ever wanted to meet and haven't had a chance to do that. Of course, you can talk to our sponsors. Each of the sponsors has a uh, exhibition booth and has information for you provided. They have a room at the bottom in the channels as well, where you can either talk to them directly via a one-to-one -one call, or you can talk to them in their presentation rooms, like you would on a normal uh, exhibition going just up to their booth. Like, ah, you can even see it here. So, Additionally, we have we already had a pre-social yesterday evening, and we have a social that opens today at 5 p.m. Cent Central European time. Uh, just click on the button social and you'll get there. A new feature this year is the uh, meet a random attendee. So what we thought about was we wanted to try to replicate the idea of running into new persons throughout the conference all day long that you haven't met before and that is usually pretty random. So what you can now do is you can go in there, click the button, start, and then you randomly get connected with someone else who wants to get connected. That's a nice feature to use in the breaks or throughout any of the presentation days and it's open all time. Uh, on the left side as well, you can see the recordings and slides. This is going to be filled throughout the next two days with all information, and you will have access to everything that has been recorded in the slides that presenters used. If you made it here, you pretty much already know how to get to the live stage, but in case you get lost, this is the way how you get back. Here are all the talks, here are all the information, you can go to the uh, main stage. As you can see here, uh, at the bottom of the right, there is a chat box where you can chat with the rest of the group. Uh, now I can't see it. So you can, you, uh, left, at the left side of that, you have smileys and a couple of other interactions. We highly encourage that to use because that's the way how you can give feedback to the presenters throughout the presentation and engage with the rest of the community and basically share uh, how you like the talks, how you uh, find them and give some feedback directly back to them. And now here we go. So on the top you have the um, uh, the the option to switch between the chat, the questions, and the polls. So if you want to ask a question, click on the question button. Then you can submit your question. That's going to be reviewed by our team and then shown here. Everyone then can uh, vote them up so that our heralds have an indication on what to give back to our presenters and how to ask the questions in which order. The new one 
on the right side this year is we have polls and I think we have a poll open today already for this session so you can go and uh, put in I think the question is related uh, towards how often you've already visited DNOC and uh, which times of visiting DNOC this is for you so feel free to use that and try it out we we're looking forward to your feedback uh, not the real-time answer but it is what it is and if you have any questions, you have any issues or any problems on the left bottom side, there is the help desk channel where you can go in and our team is watching and monitoring that and is trying to help you with any questions or problems you have. At the bottom uh, left, you have the direct messages channel. So if you want to talk to any of the attendees or a group of attendees, you can just click on the plus sign and then a new call a new chat is opened so you can put in one person or multiple persons um, and then you have a chat opened where you can talk to people on the top right you then have a call function that you can use to initiate a video call with all of them so either chat version or video call or you turn off your camera and just have a normal call like in the old days and with that I would wonder and ask if there are any questions that we can answer and if we have a herald that would tell us that we can that we have to answer them um, there's one question why do we run this meeting in English I'm in a favor to discuss a local German language option as well wouldn't it be bad to lose the local partition participants that are not able to understand English some of our people had only Russian in school so uh, our conference is run in English because our audience actually quite of dictates we are 700 people roughly during this and I guess roughly half of them are not from Germany and are not German speakers if you are interested in German speaking content do not hesitate to come to the meetups those are all in German but for the main conference which we deem to see as international uh, we will stick to English Second one, I have read about working groups on Denok. Which working groups are exists actual and who can I participate join that? So there are a couple of working groups. There's the event working group. There is a um, public relations uh, working group. There is a sponsoring working group. There is a diversity working group. Have I forgotten any more? It's oh yeah, there's also the PC of obviously. Um, and if you want to join any of them, uh, reach out to uh, contact or forge on and we will link you with the direct people. But we'll also have up slides during the event where you can see the individual groups and the individuals to approach for that. Perfect. And, and just to, to give that feedback, because I think we've had that discussion about a couple of times over the last years. We're still trying to revamp the uh, web page and have all the contact, uh, contact information up there. Um, actually, people are working on that. So um, we're hoping to have that information available publicly to everyone soon. And also, if this is something you would like to help us with, with our IT and our website, do not hesitate to reach out at any time and we will link you up with the right people. Actually, that's a working group too. Yes. So, yeah, here we go. One other, is it possible to buy the Denox 13 hoodie? As always, that's not possible. Uh, you can't buy the hoodie. You have to be uh, a member of the event working group and have uh, actively participated and organized the conference. Uh, we're looking for volunteers each year. So uh, if you're interested in not only the hoodie, but you're interested in being an active member of the community and work on this all year long, um, please reach out to event at dnoc.de or, or you can actually also be a member of the PC. Oh, obviously, yeah. PC members get a hoodie as well, as well as our heralds. So if you are interested, reach out, participate. But this hoodie is something you only get through hard work, sweat and tears. No, I'm just joking. That's all. Okay, then thank you all for coming here. We will give you a 10 minute break and then it's up for a introduction to networking by Wolfgang, which will be for two hours to also encourage newcomers because DNOC is not only for seasoned network professionals, uh, professionals, but also people who are new to networking and want to learn. So with that, thank you from my side. Thank you very much for being here. Enjoy the next two days and hope you have fun. Thank you. <laughs>